Field & Stream presents the 2008 Heroes of Conservation. We've selected six finalists and Toyota Motors will award $5,000 to each hero and a new 2008 Tundra to the winner in September. I'm Nate Matthews, online editor with Field & Stream. We're back in West Texas with Heroes of Conservation finalist Dale Rollins. After years of working on quail preservation, the Rolling Hills Plains Quail Research Ranch was turned over to Dale to continue his research. The ranch is located in Sweetwater, about 100 miles north of Dale's hometown of San Angelo. Preserving West Texas quail hunting heritage has been the focus of Dale's conservation projects, but after acquiring this beautiful ranch, he's been able to really expand his efforts. Tell me, where and when did you acquire this beautiful piece of property? Negotiations on this ranch began two or three years ago when some donors kind of identified that uh, they had an interest in West Texas and in quail. And, and I said, well, what you need to do is buy a quail ranch and let me manage it for research and education. What kind of research do you do on this property? Well, again, everything points to quail, but we use radio telemetry to evaluate, number one, the survival rate of the quail. We're looking at various ways that we can determine how many quail are on a property using such things as helicopters. We're trying to get a snapshot of the entire ecosystem here. So why is quail research important? Well, quail research is important, number one, because quail populations are going like this. And so is there something that we can do? Can we tweak our land management? Try to identify the problem, and then can we do something that is ecologically compatible and ecologically and socially acceptable. And you've got a lot of graduate students that come out here and work with you on these projects. Can you tell us some more about their research? I've got a graduate student here from Angelo State University that's working on herps, which is a fancy name for reptiles and amphibians. As a good steward, we want to know what's out there. So we want to take an inventory of what we have out here to where as we pull on the quail string, what happens throughout the system. The research that I'm doing on the Rolling Plains Quail Research Ranch is uh, looking at all the reptiles and amphibians and the differences that they may have among different habitat types. We're going out and using several trapping methods. For the snakes that are large enough, we insert a pit tag in them. You work the snake into there, you get his head started about the front third of his body, kind of keeps his head in a safe area. Take a length on him from the snout to the vent. And you'll inject it two to three scale rows up from the belly scales to get it right on the inside of the muscle. Dr. Owens has been a very positive influence on me. It's always been a thrill getting to work with him and do research. So what are the short-term and long-term goals for the overall project? Well, the short-term goals are to keep quail hunting alive and vibrant. The long-term goals, I want to see the ranch become a nucleus of other ranches that we're doing research on within maybe a 250-mile radius here. What's the one thing that every conservation project needs to really do? Think of the future. Think of the future generation. The population of hunters is getting old really quick. So we've got to have somebody coming in with the savvy, with the critical thinking, that's going to be able to rectify, correct some of the problems that they're inheriting. Well, you're certainly doing a lot to help put us on the right track. It's, it's been a labor of love, what can I say? Field & Stream is proud to have Dale Rollins as one of our Heroes of Conservation finalists. Dale has worked hard for 20 years to protect the quail populations of West Texas, and he's done it in a way that's going to make sure those quails stay here for generations. Yeah.